Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to balance a polynomial fraction. So here we have a polynomial, given by f of x equals 5x squared plus 5x minus 10 over x minus 1 times x plus k, where we want to find the value of k. We're also told that f of 3 is equal to 5. Believe it or not, this is enough information to unambiguously determine the value of k that makes both of these true. So, let's try to simplify f of x a little bit. So we have 5x squared plus 5x minus 10 over x minus 1 times x plus k. Well, right off the bat, we can see that all the terms in the numerator are multiples of 5, so we'll pull that out. We get 5 times x squared plus x minus 2, again, over x minus 1 times x plus k. Okay, but this polynomial here, x squared plus x minus 2, can be factored, which is convenient. Let's see here. We get x plus 2 times x minus 1. And again, we have x minus 1 times x plus k on the bottom. Well, you see right away that we have x minus 1 in the bottom and in the top, so we can cancel these. Great. So what that leaves us with is that f of x is equal to 5 times x plus 2 over x plus k. Great. It's much easier to work with. So let's go ahead and plug in f of 3. We'll set that equal to 5 and see if we can solve for k. So f of 3 is equal to 5 times 3 plus 2 over 3 plus k. All right. So we get 5 times 5 in the top and 3 plus k in the bottom. Equals 25 over 3 plus k. And we know that this is going to be equal to 5. Alrighty, well, from here we can multiply both sides by 3 plus k. So we get 25 equals 5 times 3 plus k. All right, we'll go ahead and distribute that. We get 15 plus 5k. Subtract 15 from both sides of this equation. We get 10 equals 5k. Try that one again. And we'll divide by 5. We get 2 is equal to k. And then if we did everything correctly, we should be able to plug in that value into our original equation. And these two should be true. And you can check your work by simply taking this new function that we arrived at, plugging in f of 3, and seeing if it equals 5. And if that's true, then everything is correct. We've balanced our polynomial fraction. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to balance a polynomial fraction.